great to see you again, Madeline. You know, how's the big city and how are things going? It's good. Um, work's been great. Just uh, really busy. I mean, I've only been there for a month, so. Oh, yeah, getting to know the city and everything is good. How about nice. you? How's things been going? Oh, good. You know, same old. Um, we had a really interesting event the other the other day. It was a kind of a peace walk, and, and then there was booths in the park, and so I did a little walkabout, and yeah, it was interesting. There was this actually this one booth that had to do with proportional representation, which is this new kind of uh, an approach to the voting system. And uh, you know, I I got some information about it and that, but I thought. Ah, uh, like what we don't need is electoral reform. What we really need is just people to vote. I just wish more people would just come out and vote, and I think that that would change everything. That's fair. I mean, I think one of the things that, like, one of the things behind proportional representation is that it's trying to address the fact that people don't vote. Because a lot of times people don't vote because they don't feel like their needs are being met, and they don't feel that their vote counts, and they don't feel that. You know, it matters if they vote. So proportional rep representation is trying to allow that vote to have a voice. Like the, the fact of the matter is, is that you know when we elect parties into power, it's usually only like thirty or forty percent of the vote that gets them into power. And there's like all these other people mm -hmm. who did Got vote, and their votes are kind of just thrown out. Really, like they're not, they're not used. And so a lot of people don't vote because they're like, well, th if I vote for who I want to vote for, it, it doesn't matter. You know, and so I can see how people might feel disillusioned and like, oh, I'm not going to bother voting then. But at the same time, I think electoral reform, my goodness, that's going to be so complex. Like, do you think it's worth it changing over the system? I mean, I don't know how complex it is. I mean, I'm sure there's cert like a certain amount of work that goes into electoral reform. But I mean, I think the what it's trying to do is create a lot more political stability and I think what we need now is a lot less of a polarized system with our politics and the fact of the matter is is like with proportional representation mm -hmm. it it you know what happens a lot of the times is that you know you'll a, a party will get elected in and then uh, you know a few years later another party will get elected in and all they'll right. really do is spend a bunch of their time undoing what the other government did right. and so that creates a lot of instability and it creates a lot of instability for like even you know economics and for everybody and it's not just you know bad for like oh the poor people like it's kind of bad for everyone because mm -hmm. because of that instability that it creates whereas if you have a system that represents everyone's needs and is more collaborative, then it creates stability and it creates like an environment where, you know, as each, you know, new election occurs, there isn't this polarization, there isn't this really severe change in between elections. Presum hmm. like, presumably that's, that's what I would think would happen. So but. there's less wasted time on doing the old and more mm. moving forward. Yeah, and then, and of course, because yeah, you aren't, you know, undoing this and creating this for like this small pocket of people, and then undoing this and then creating this for this other small pocket of people. You're trying to, you're getting these two parties to work together and create something that works for, hopefully, the mo the majority of the people. That's the whole premise, really. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah. well, and well, it gives me some food for thought, Mel, and I hadn't have thought of those arguments. And apparently, there's going to be a lecture coming up. Uh, to sort of teach a little bit more about the, the system. So, uh, you know, I just might go to that. We're going to stop there. <laughs> 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 <laughs>